Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyrim Dawn Guard and we are going to be adventuring with Caden. We are here at Castle Volklahar, which is here on the map. We traveled all the way from Solitude to here to the Icewater Jetty and we took a little boat across the water. It wasn't much, so that's what we did. And we come across this weird sign where everybody is posing. Serana and Caden. It's quite funny. <laughs> All right, so let's everybody pose. There we go. Nobody posing now. All right. All right. So, okay. So somebody let me know why exactly Serana and Kaden weren't interacting yet, and that's simply because she's not a proper follower. So we just have to wait until further into the storyline. So let's go up to Castle Volkahar. Hello. Is anybody here? Do they just allow anybody to walk in? Is Kaden not coming with us? Kaden. Hey, so before we go in there. I guess I was running too far ahead of you. Um are you alright? I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. As I won't kill I, everybody. Just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Okay. Um, Kaden, why are you not coming with us? Um, uh, wait here. Call me if you need anything. Hello there. Come on. Come on then, Are you calling me trouble? Okay, really? Are you stuck there? What's on your mind, kitten? Really? How oh, eh? Hello, hello. Are you gonna come with me or not? My goodness. Well, if he doesn't want to come, then he can just stay out here. I don't know why he's not coming. He's being weird. Alright, into Castle Volkohar we go. Alright, are you just gonna... You don't look like a vampire. Okay. Where is everybody? Why are they just standing out here? Ugh, they have problems. Alright, let's go on in. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe my eyes. And then he just walks away. <laughs> My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess we can't leave yet. I can't believe it. I guess you are. Alright, hold on a second. I'm gonna summon Caden. My long lost. Can I not summon Caden here? I trust you have my elder school. My goodness. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? I guess I need to speak. It's on her back. You can see it. I want to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your Ugh. traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before... You can talk to her? Head on a spike. Oof. Now, tell me, who is this... This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Essa. I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you Ugh. Uh, your vampires. Not 
just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. Yeah, made my mullet ball. We lived here far from the tears of the world. In very nasty All ways. When my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. Not the one you're there thinking. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I like I how you place your daughter life. second. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death Your buddy's again. munching. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Good. The power that I offer. Now, make your choice. I don't want to become a vampire. So be it. You are prey, like all I banish you. And then he sends me outside. <laughs> we'll see Serana later, don't worry. There's Caden. My goodness, we're having a bit of a meltdown. Alright, so we just have to go and speak with Ezron now. Because I'm going to do the Dawn Guard part of this quest. I think the last time I was a vampire. But I think I'm going to do the Dawn Guard portion. Vampire portion is cool, but not my favorite. Oh. That damn gate guard shut the gate in my face. Sorry, I didn't realize he'd have some dialogue for me. Um, I'm fine, Kaden, but guess what? They have an Elder Scroll. <laughs> of all things. An Elder Scroll? You're sure? That's dangerous magic they're playing with. I know. Who knows what they might use it for? Uh... Come on. Let's get back to Israel. This can't be good. Okay. So, go. Anything else? How are you, sweetheart? Oh, I'm great. So, let's go back to Israel then. Oh, we came back to a fight. My goodness. should die. Thank you. Came back to a little fight. Hey, Isra. Look at this. Why are you whacking away? It's only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defense. Now that is a power aura. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Uh, I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Uh, the vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Uh, she's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you <clears throat> delivered her to them. They also have an Elder Scroll. Just so you know. They what? Stop them, and you didn't secure the scroll. Uh, oh, too many of them, and only one of me. So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. What was I supposed By to the do? Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Uh, I don't know about you, but I could have, but I didn't get the chance. What are you talking about, kid? <laughs> so, we're not going to give up. We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. Hey, I never we're said you were stupid. To need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. I hate this scared. part of the quest. Oh. If you can find them, chance so where can i find the people we need right to the point aren't you i like that not like those fools in the order 
<laughs> They're right behind you, trash talking them. Oops, sorry. Breton girl with smug good with tinkering. Fascination with the dweller. Uh, I hate that one. Last I knew, she was out of their reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us though? Might need a little convincing. But she should. Yeah, I know how to convince her. <laughs> Big brute of a nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Yay. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Okay. Um. I guess that's it. Keep your eyes open. Gee, thanks. Anything you want to say to me? How you doing, love? Are you all right? Oh, I'm I'm just peachy. Any thoughts? You're very well read. I envy that. As a child, my education had. I think now I'd like to catch up, expand my mind a little. I could lend you books if you want. I'd appreciate it. it certainly makes quiet nights by the fire more interesting. Okay. So I guess the next place is that we have to go. We have. Goodness, she's way out here. So there's Serene. She's actually really close to this area. And then the other guy is out in this area. Thankfully, they're both by areas that I can just fast travel to. So that's what we'll do next. Alright, so we're in this area. I'm going to recruit Gunmar. Um, I don't know why he's crouching here. And there's a dragon flying around who hasn't quite engaged us, but I keep hearing him. It's making me paranoid. Okay, what do you want? You there, hold fast. I've tracked this damn bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isra needs your help. Isra needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. Oh, I'm why aren't you the cynic? Late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. What do you think Tell the dog guard are for? We're not so sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. Which is bad news all by itself. By the eight. All right, look. I consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, so we're gonna help you defeat this bear in here? Okay. Bear be this bear. What is this? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. I guess we could tell him in this guy. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. Where be this bear? What's in here? Huh? Interesting. So I guess there's vampires in here as well. Where is this bear? I thought it was in here. Yeah. Where's the bear? We need to stop this creature before it kills again. Okay. Well, let's go deeper into the cave, I guess. Oh, a lot of spiders. Why do vampires and bears and spiders all oh, like to hang out with each other? My goodness. Where are all these spiders? There he is. 
Where's the other spider? My goodness. There's so many of them. Are you shooting? I can't see the animals. Existences. My goodness. Oof. Why is this... Why is this area so big? Ooh. Almost fell down. Okay. Where is this stupid bear? So I'm not seeing no bear. I don't either. I win. Boy, that was me. Crawling air blue glare. Excuse me. Okay, I think this is where the bear is. Is Gunmar with us? I don't see Gunmar. Maybe he'll show up. Oh, hello. Poisoning me. Ah! I think they got him. Good. Okay, giant frostbite cider. I want to shoot the big one. Oh, nice. Hello, Gunmar. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. He wasn't that hard. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he is. Yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dungard. Of course he did. He's been <laughs> working on that place for years now. He never lets anyone in. Well, he is now. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. That's I'll true. You there. Well, I gotta go elsewhere, so. Let's see what the loot is. And then there was that little vampire part. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Staff of Mind Vision. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what am I carrying? Oh, I'm carrying like junk. Oh, my Daedric Sword. And this one's really heavy too. Uh, Iron Helmet. I don't know. Let's go find the other lady. All right, looks like we've come to our next destination. And it's right here, just a bit southwest of the Deep Proud, Deepwood Redoubt. I don't know, something along those lines. This is so annoying though. Okay. Hello, little bunny. Hi. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? Here, I left it right here. There's my husband come my running in. Might have taken it. I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. I think it stole your bag. Around, will you? Isran asked me to find you. Isran wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last Why are your armpits no showing? In my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Uh, vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Are you really going to let a grudge hold you back? They have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. Isran made a lot of enemies. Alright, 
if nothing else, I let go of a lot of old friends. More about what's going on so I can better defend myself. <laughs> but I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud stole, or I need another gyro from some place. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh, no time? I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that without at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Uh, Alright, I need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. Eh. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. If you say so, okay. I don't have any gyros on me. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. All right, well, mm -hmm. let's go look and see. That's one's empty. Okay, let's see if we can find her bag. I think it's like down here somewhere. Did the mud crab steal it? It's some kind of little bag or whatever. I'm gonna try and find it. All right, I think I found it. It's just right here. Um, we'll take those guys. So it's just right here along the riverside. So it's not that far to find. What would mud crabs want with my satchel anyway? I don't know. I understand. A single gyro would be enough. Uh, here, take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? So tedious. We're meeting at Fort Dongard. Been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting. How can you talk like that with your mouth full? I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Good day. Good day. Look what I'm gonna do to your precious dwarven gyros. I'm gonna drop all of them. Oh, right there. That's, it literally says six of them. <laughs> okay, anything you want to say? Everything all right. Nope. All right, let's go back to okay. E's run. No, they're so cute. All right, look at the upgrade the fort got already. I've actually got some gates. So I think after we go and talk to E's run, I'm gonna wrap this up. But I think talking to E's run will make a good ending point. Yeah, look at this. Already got a little carding going on. But I think what's really cool about getting those people is that that opens up people to be trained and everything. Wow. Aren't you really nice and not at all racist? Okay. You know, I've come to enjoy your company on the road. The view is always finer from back here. Ah, <sighs> well, that's Caden for you. <laughs> Let's go talk to Isran. Perv. At least he's classy about it. All right, Isran. Got Why are you way all the way up there? You gotta feel like you're in a position of power. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard uh, a bit of what we're up against. That's why you did that. Powerful vampires, unlike anything you've seen before. You and just talked to me a while ago, though. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get Prepare? For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunma, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some troll. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. We, uh... Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? She's not an it, Those you know. Place, isn't this? Hope you're getting along with Eastron. It takes some getting used to. Oh, I'm sure. All right, we gotta find our way up. I think I'm not. 
I don't remember where the staircase is. There it is. Okay. So let's finish up this conversation with Ezran. Talk to Serana. We'll get that done. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. We really kept her in the torture dungeon? This vampire showed up on your way. I'm guessing it's the one you found in them hollow crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. Oh. So let's hear it. Okay. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Yeah, no kidding. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. <laughs> Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. You still have the Elder Scroll. Um, what about the scroll? The reason I had it, and why I was down there. Uh huh. It comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've nice figured guy. this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person. No. Even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. He's pretty full of himself. <laughs> He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and he just kind of lost himself in it. Uh, what sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. Hmm. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Then vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. Uh, what's all this have to do with the Dawn Guard, though? I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. But you're what a vampire. No, you're right. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Okay. Ezron, what say you? All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I should? You are right this here. Blood sucking fiend right now. Uh, because we're gonna need her help. Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out. Do you actually believe any? Boy, of that? tell me how you really feel. Why else would she risk her life to come here? You have a very firm hatred for vampires. Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. She's right there, you it know. Can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. Well, you put her in the torture dungeon, so you, you know. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Oh, like here? You do. Your friend here is going to pay What's with all these bones? Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> so, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Yay. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cirebil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Hmm. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler, innkeeper carriage drivers in the big cities maybe but you're on your own any idea how you're going to find a moth priest skyrim's a pretty big place uh you have any ideas well back before i you know the college of winterhold was the first place i'd been to go for any kind of magic or historical thing the wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about actually now that i think of it i'm going to come along with I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Alright. Um, so we can ask her about stuff, and we will definitely get to know her. 
but I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no okay, Serana. Why do you do that? You're gonna sit in the torture dungeon. Okay. You have anything to say? Are you sure we can trust her? What choice do we have? We really need her. We only need her for information. Those blood suckers make my skin crawl. She may not always be a vampire, though. We have no choice but to trust her. I trust you. It's her I don't trust. We should give her a chance. She did risk her life coming here. I suppose you're right. Anything you'd like to say to each other? How are you, sweetheart? Oh, I'm fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to the conversations you two will have. I'm sure they will be very nice to each other and very be enlightening. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> okay. All right. So, a moth priest in Skyrim. Can, can I get a word in? Oh my gosh. Okay, just, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we finally got Serana and Don, the whole Don guard beginning of the thing done. So all we have to do is just go around and try and find out where a moth priest might be. Obviously I know where he is, but I'm going to do it for the sake of the quest. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to these lovely conversations these two will have. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.